I want to feel inside here. And, ooh, yeah. Or we pull that thing. When you asked me the other day, uh, you yeah, know, one what, simple thing to what, get better. One simple thing for most people, if they want to hold shaft flex and get that feeling, we just just take a shorter back so you get more aggressive going through it. That's gonna do gonna do a lot. I mean, if I just have a little, little short back swing, I'm just, you know, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make better contact. I'm gonna get aggressive. Um, Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm in the backyard of John Erickson. And John, uh, done a bunch of videos. You'll, you'll, you'll see them uh, slowly trickling out on Be Better Golf if you have clicked the subscribe button. So do that. But uh, something I wanted to talk to you today is we were talking about what really happens through impact. And I know there's a really big debate on golf as far as like, I don't know exactly how these torques and stuff work. Uh, somebody in the comments who knows exactly, please put it. But I know that there's alpha torque, beta torque, and gamma torque something like that but basically what it is is there's forces and torques across the shaft so some people are saying through the hit you're pushing the aft side of the shaft like this through the shot and some people are saying no a lot of the guys like uh dr kwan and sasha mckenzie and some people think that once you get here that's the lowest point and then from here you start pulling coupling the hands and they go up and around left this way like this oh i like that and somebody and you had mentioned something called the orbit pull yeah that's that would fit I, I into coin, your yeah. philosophy of something you coined called the orbit pull so i'm just going to hit a, sh a, a small shot here and tell us what you meant by that that's the first time we've ever there done you go. that there you go <laughs> caught on video <laughs> okay so what is the orbit pull or what i've described so uh, i mentioned before that what we teach here, we want to we want to hook our way into impact. So we're coming from the inside. So we don't really want to think about trying to be on a plane. We want to feel like we're coming inside and under plane, okay? And then as we come into impact, we're gonna we hook our way in and then we cut our way out, which then creates a net straight shot and a very powerful shot. So a hook in and a cut out. Now, how does that work? Well, we know that if I come down and I let go of this club, maybe you want to just back up here a little bit, I, I'm going to let go of the club, okay. So if I come from the inside and I let go of this club, it's going to hit this mat and it's going to go that way. It's not going that way, okay. It's going that way. So there's a pressure, okay, it's going out to the right. Now you can only imagine if I take a full swing with a driver, how hard that thing is going to be heading out that way. So, so we're going to come down in here and then we're going to take that pressure that club that's wanting to go that way and now we're grabbing it and we're taking it this way so if i've got a club that wants to go here but now i'm getting the club over to here what that does is that creates this tremendous amount of pressure in my hands it's like whoa you know this is really so i'm, I'm what we call an orbit pull so the club is moving in an orbit its natural orbit would want to be out to the right because then we're on an inclined plane it's heading in that direction it's going to hit the ground yeah, the club's off. going down out and forward like they say yeah yeah so I'm going to then, I'm going to come down and then I'm going to redirect. Okay. The club, the club doesn't want to go over here. I mean, if I'm coming down here, believe me, there's nothing about this golf club that wants to end up over here okay. on its own. Okay. It's not going to end up there on its own. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to manipulate that with the rotation of my body. You know, Hogan talked about, you, know, you see the upper arms packed against the body. You see, you see the arms, you know, still on the body here the right elbow still bent yeah okay not rolling over as soon as i straighten that elbow it's closing the club face so so the orbit pull is basically the frozen right elbow and a flat shoulder rotation coming from the inside that's going to pull that thing over and i feel this pressure building in my hands mm -hmm. a lot a tremendous pressure in my hands what's the advantage of that feel now i can feel feel the club the feet i can feel the club face exactly where it's at okay because of the pressure in my hands it's not just coming down and letting centrifugal force just do its thing and i'm just guessing and hoping yeah. and praying i'm just gonna i hope the timing's good here you know i hope yeah, it is yeah. i can't feel the club but if i practice enough and i you know work on my low point and i have this long swing and i'm just gonna try and time this uh -uh, not me I'm not doing that you know I want to feel inside here and, 
Yeah. Orbit pull that thing. John, show me when we first uh, were chatting through the phone, you told me like, okay, I want you to take a short swing and have your elbow here and hit the hit balls where your elbow is always connected. Kind of yes. like you were showing there. Like I just did there. And you, so let's, you can slow let that me down. See that, let me see that drill there. Yeah. So the frozen right elbow drill. Yeah. My, you can see my elbows bent here. You can see my elbows bent here. Yeah, I'm gonna try that because I'm not okay. able to do that normally. Okay, so just air swing. Kind of like that? Yeah, sure, but shorter, uh, abbreviate the finish. So you just end up before P4, even less. Just st stop it before P4. Yes, there we go. Okay. And notice where the club face is. Notice it was looking at the target. Yes, yes, still take, square. Take that other practice swing. Do that one more time. Just abbreviate time it. Stopping. Abbreviate it. Now look where the club face is. Yeah. Looking at the target. It's not mm -hmm. rolled over. Now go ahead and hit the ball. Do the same thing. Really abbreviate it into the into P4. Too, too hard. Abbreviate it. Take a shorter back swing. Shorten the back swing. But go aggressive. I want you to shorten the backswing, go aggressive, and abbreviate it to P4 or before. Try yep. to stop before. Even more. Okay. Right. Okay. Still too long? Well, but that's the idea. You can see, we can see that your right elbow is still bent. Yeah. Okay. Let me try to get a then, good one. What that allows you to do then is go more level with the shoulders. Oh, okay. You feel like the high right shoulder going through impact. Yeah, there oh, we that's go. That's different. Yeah, yeah. Rather than this and holding, yeah. it's this and. Yeah, and around. Right. I like so that. now you're hitting it with body rotation. You're using the body to hit the, hit the golf ball. So now everything's connected. Now you're going to be able to feel the club face and, and hopefully hold shot blocks. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Because you feel Very spring nice. off. That's a great cool. way to hit little punch shots, uh -huh. little little knockdown shots. You know, uh -huh. you're 150 yards out, and you're into the wind, and you just hit one of those little. little but shots. it's also a vitamin drill for your full swing, because oh, of course, it, yeah. yeah of course. As you as you extend it, still from here to here is the same, and then you're just letting it go on either side. Yeah. Is that right? So okay. that's why I'm I'm really big on uh, shorter back swings. When when you asked me the other day, uh, yeah, you know, one what, simple thing to what, get better. One simple thing for most people, if they want to hold shaft flex and get that feeling. We just just take a shorter back so you can get more aggressive going through it. That's gonna do gonna do a lot. I mean, if I just have a little little short back swing, I'm just you know, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make better contact. I'm gonna get aggressive, um, and then then you can start then working that you know into into a more full finish. You know, working hard and together. The answer is probably no, but but do you like you know a lot of teachers they like obstructions and like somebody holding a pool noodle here to make you sure you don't go too long or stuff like that. Do you ever work with that or you or like review yourself in video to to check that you actually you're matching feel and reel. Do you like to do that or you you want them to be able? Well, to no, no, the backswing isn't isn't the isn't the club. It, it's not even the arms or the hands. The backswing is is the rotation of the shoulders. Oh, okay. you know, that, so a full a full backswing, you know this this is this is equal to this. This is the same thing. If my shoulders are rotated here, because from here, whether I go here or here, whether I go here, yeah, it's almost advantageous to be shorter. Have a I mean shorter arm travel. Mm -hmm. There's one of my favorite uh, pictures from a, a Sam Snead wrote a book called Swing Keys. Very hard to find. And it was his five lessons like that was, he, he wrote a very technical book, very, very, very good. Uh, hard to find. Uh, in the swing keys, Sneed talks about the shoulders moving to like one o'clock, yeah. right? 12 o'clock, one o'clock. Yeah. But he talked about the left arm at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, now here's what happens. The same shoulder rotation as if I'm here. Now, if I'm back here, I'm out of sequence. Yeah. If I'm here, here's the beauty of this. If I've got the one o'clock, but the 10 o'clock, I start going and now I'm loading into that arm and the club's not even hardly moving yet. 
Yeah. And what is that doing? It's delaying the acceleration of the golf club. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Right? Because as soon so as soon as I'm back here, yeah. if I have a long swing and a full shoulder, as soon as I go, the club's going. Mm -hmm. So now I gotta keep going and I end up way out of sequence. But here, one o'clock, ten o'clock, I move into the arm. You swing into the And then hand. this thing starts picking up speed yeah. and we're moving our acceleration point. If we can make it all the way to the ball like the greats did, yeah. you know, when I'm really on, I can do it. When I'm off, I'm not doing it. I'm human too. You know, I have problems too. You might maybe on these videos it might not look as good, but but um, but we want to move our, our maximum uh, acceleration. We want to not. I shouldn't say our maximum. So we want to move our acceleration rate to closer to the impact. Yeah. It, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So if we're hitting maximum acceleration here. We want to, if we can get it here, we're going to be better golfer than if it's here. Okay, right, okay? right. And if we can get it to here, we'll be better than here. Mm -hmm. And if we can get it to here, you know, you might be the next greatest striker of all time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description of this video. Click the subscribe button. I think you guys would be particularly interested in learning about this. If you like this kind of content, you'll really like the stuff that uh, John's going to be coming out with soon about Ben Hogan because uh, he, I think, is keyed into something that other, there's a lot of opinions on, on Ben Hogan, but uh, John thinks he can prove what he's saying definitively. Well, watch the videos. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks.